And we're back. And I'm about to roll the initiative macro. Yay! There's only one rat ahead of everyone this time. <clears throat> and that rat will start bounding forwards. And you will have hardcover against this, so that's a plus four to AC and 50% mischance, I think? Um, yep. <clears throat> I will check. We have the capacity to do that. Meanwhile, intermission on the recording. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
You are its closest target. Well, we saw that coming, didn't we? It will miss you horribly. And now, the cleric is up. Alright. Uh, this is getting kind of pointless, but I'm going to try it again anyway. I really want to bash this thing's head in. Bash it in the noggin. Privyet tries to attack it yet again. Ooh. That will hit. Thank. Who's my god again? I don't think it's listed on my character sheet. You could just That's be a cleric sick. of those ideals. No, I have a specific god. I mentioned it in my god backstory. Godless cleric. Like, I don't know. Uh, it's a the long sword is a one d eight, right? <coughs> I will defer to someone who remembers. Give me a second. Were you worship long sword is one d eight? Were you worshiping yeah. Foltus? Is that who you were worshiping? No. All right. Well, it is one d eight points of damage. Okay, it is severely hurt. And Bogolf is up now. Now, if you were to move, let's say, can here? I move it to flank? Oh, we just yes. that was it. I will assume you move in a way to not provoke. Yeah, let's say. You are flanking. You can now benefit from sneak attack. You deny it its dexterity bonus to armor. So it is an armor 12 that you are trying to hit. We should implement sneaking, um, flanking more often. Flanking is generally a good thing. Well, yeah, it's just a little hard to get past the attacks on our sometimes. Yep. Uh, but yep, yeah, so let's see here. Wow! <laughs> Ooh. That will not hit, sadly. Cure you are. Very well. Uh, this is not a good angle at which to try to hit with my <laughs> crossbow. So, uh, Kruvar, well, he's going to have to, I guess, take a turn to put his crossbow away and pull out his staff. It's not really going to get him much anywhere. Mm, you can drop as a free action, draw as a move action, and then uh, attack as a standard. I suppose I could do that then. He doesn't really like the idea of just dropping things on the ground, but, well... If that's the way it's going to work. And then he'll, uh, he'll whack at it with his uh, quarterstaff. Okay. That is impressively bad. That <laughs> would actually it's... be minus two, but you can't really go beyond one. Yeah. The, the rat will attempt to bite at uh, the cleric, because the cleric is the only one that's done damage so far. Does a 13 hit your AC? It probably does not. Uh, 16. Alright. Well, you are up. Okay. Um, Wait, how do I have a bunch of CS to cleric? Huh? Hmm? 16. Yeah, I was wondering how I have a bunch of ACs to cleric. Most clerics usually have a much higher AC. Uh, he doesn't. A you don't really get access to good armor until second or third level. Uh, until you have enough gold to actually be able to afford plate. Yeah. Gotcha. And decent shields. Damn. Sadly, that will miss. Ogolf is up. It's yeah, almost as if the rat is laughing at you. <laughs> we'll see it's laughing when I stick my sword of its bum. <coughs> that will yeah. hit. And I'll get 2d6 plus 1 because of the sneak attack from behind. Okay, that is more than enough to kill it. As it falls to the ground, bloody and dead, you now have a, a chance to appreciate your surrounding. Now, this small 20-foot by 20-foot room appears to be a personal shrine. A stone statue of large rat rests on the small altar in the center of the south wall of the room. Two large black-furred rats... Oh, yeah. those those two large black-furred rats are already dead. Um, so yeah, there's a, a statue right about here. Well, it's a fairly decent size. Uh, anyone who wants may attempt a praise or religion about it. Religion, can I still search it? Knowledge hmm? religion. Uh, yes, you can search as if, if you want as well. It's well, stone, so. But yes. Uh, you do not find anything unusual around All the right. area. I will praise it, though. Actually, can I get a stone sense supposed to appraise it if it's, if it's something made of stone? 
I do not... Uh, no, you would get it. You would get a bonus if you had ranks in craft stonesmithing. Uh. So that was my appraise, was the first one, and then followed by that was a knowledge religion. Well, oh, the statue let's... would be worth about 50 gold pieces to a collector. Uh, let's see, does it have an actual set of dimensions for this? No, it doesn't. So it's a... It's a portable size, but uh, it is also... Uh, no one has made the religion check, so you're not really sure. I made the religion it... check. No, I mean you never, you didn't hit the uh, the DC for it. Oh. it's a fairly high one. I'd imagine so. So no one really knows who it is, but it would probably be worthwhile to a collector. And I, uh, you can carry it around. It's worth, or it weighs about five pounds, or you can leave it here and pick it up later if you want. Should probably pick it up later for our loot run. Okay. Yeah, we'll get blue weapons for and stuff like that. All right. Maybe somewhere along the line we'll figure out what the god is. Yeah, yeah. maybe. That makes sense. All right. Well, where to? Let's keep following this hallway. Okay. Yeah. I agree. I'll go first again, as usual. Okay. Uh, I actually have to pause the recording here. I need to step away for a second to do something. So I will be back in a second. <laughs>